starring Tommy Reddick as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Hi, Gramps. Hi, boy. That confounded pill peddler left yet? He's in there talking to Mom. Got me dead and buried, hasn't he? All ready to nail down the lid. No, Gramps. You'll be all right. After you get the x-rays. What x-rays? You've got to go to the hospital today to get them. Well, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna get me in no hospital. That's what you think. I know what you're up to. Get me in the hospital for x-rays. And the next thing I know, someone's carving their initials on the backbone. Jeff, get Gramps shoes and help him on with them. Nobody's helped me in years. I ain't gonna start now. Get them, dear. I ain't going, Ellen. Now, will you stop acting like an infant? They'll get me in there, then they'll tell you I need an operation. Possibly. One of them specialists. Months in the hospital. Hundreds of dollars. Where are we going to get the money? Oh, we'll worry about that part of it when we come to it. Well, I'm worrying about it now. I ain't going in debt for no operation. Jeff, yeah. we hurry up with those shoes? Now, in the first place, we have the money in the bank. In the second place, we have the insurance. And in the third place, if you need an operation, we'd get the money even if we didn't have it. And finally, you big baby, you're just making excuses. I'm not. Dad, now be reasonable. It may not be serious at all, but we have to have the x-rays to find out. Here you are, Gramps. I'll help you on. I'll help myself. Jeff, I may be overnight at Capital City. Can you stay at Porky's? Guess so. He's out back with his cousin Tony. I'll ask him. Fine. I'll get changed. You're setting a fine example for Jeff. I don't care. How do you like that? Jeez, it's wonderful. Porky, can I stay over at your house tonight? Sure. My mom's got to take Gramps to Capital City. The hospital. Hospital? Gee. Hey, you want to sell Lassie? My dad promised to buy me a dog. How about it? You crazy? Jeff wouldn't sell Lassie for a trillion dollars. You want to come over now? We got to get home on account of he's driving to Creston. All the way to Mom and Gramps leave. Okay, I'll be back in a little while. If you change your mind, let me know. Watch out, Dad. Jeff, I didn't get a chance to call Mrs. Brockway. Are you sure it's all right for you to stay over? Sure. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. What do you mean, you? We'll be back. <laughs> Easy, Dad. Be a good boy, sweetheart. Bye, Mom. Bye, darling. Hi, Mrs. Miller. No hot party. Jeff, get a sleepover? Sure thing. Sure thing. Boys, how many times have I told you? Not to get close to the car. My cousin Tony is gone and am I glad. What a drip. Yeah. What's eating you? Gramps. He needs an operation. Gee, people can die from operations. He can't have it. Because we don't have enough money. He can die from not having an operation. I know. How much does an operation cost? I heard Gramps say hundreds of dollars. <whistles> and all I got's 80 cents. I had a dollar, but I spent it at the carnival. Gotta do something to help him, but I don't know why. Boy, Lassie's smart. She knows you got troubles. Does your cousin Tony really want to buy Lassie? Does he? Jeff, you can't. You can't sell Lassie. Gramps would do anything for me. 
You said yourself he could die if he doesn't get an operation. Yeah, I know, but I've been trying to figure out what I could sell. All my junk's not worth much. The only thing I got's last thing. You think I like the idea? You think I want to sell her? <laughs> Mom won't be worried if she gets home before I do. It's 20 miles to Preston. Oh, maybe I'll get a hitch. My uncle's farm is the first one before you get to the big grain elevator. And the house is white and the barn is red. Okay. They got the same name as us, Rockway. Okay. You sure you don't want my pup to drive you to Preston? You sure? No, because we'd have to tell him why. And he'd want to lend Gramps the money. And Gramps wouldn't take it. Not even so you could keep Lassie? If Gramps had to do something for me, he wouldn't go around looking for ways to get out of it. Yeah, you're right. You hand me a paper bag? Sure. I hate to think of you selling Lassie. Well, I guess this is everything. So my mom would have conniptions and my pop would skin me alive. That's all right. I'll cut across the back way. It's getting kind of later. I'd walk you away. Yeah. Guess I'd better be going. So long. so far from home at this hour of the night. Jeff! Jeff! Jeff Miller! Come back! Sam, go get him! fast for me. Well, we can't just let him run off like that. Well, I'll never find him in the dark. Oh, hurry, Sam. I've got to call Ellen as soon as we get home. Now, hurry. Oh, I'm hurrying. That was too close. We'd better stay off the road. Oh, Liz, I don't know how to get cross country at night. Come on. You know something? 
I could use some sleep. I'll bet you could, too. We'll start out again in the morning. Asleep. We didn't hurt anything, mister. We were going to Creston. We cut across your field. I, I'm sorry if we were on your property. We'll get off. Come on, Lassie. Gosh, mister, we haven't done anything. you doing sleeping in a haystack? Where are your folks? Where do you live? We... Uh, me and Lassie, we... We were going to Crest and we sort of got tired and fell asleep, but we didn't hurt anything. Of course you didn't. But you look scared. What's the matter? Oh, Mike? Oh, of course. When he didn't talk to you. But Mike can't talk. Well, not with his voice. He never could. He can't hear either. But you got no call to be scared. He loves kids. Well, if you don't mind, ma'am, Lassie and me will go now. Well, I should hope I do mind. You haven't had your breakfast. And if you think for one minute I'd let you walk all the way to Creston... But I gotta get there. Well, not till you've had your hot breakfast and then Mike can drive you over. Now, come on. Not another word. We're gonna have some bacon and eggs and pan... Some homemade bread and milk. Does that sound good? Bertie Brockway for me, please. Thanks. Hello, Bertie. Ellen. Is Jeff there? That's strange. No, I had to drive Dad over to Capital City, and I spent the night there. Jeff was supposed to sleep over at your place. I don't understand it. Oh, we left a note, but that doesn't say anything. Oh, would you, Bertie? I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I can't! I can't! Look! I can't! 
is over. For the last time, where is Jeff? I told you, I can't snitch on him. I don't know what to do, Ellen, short of tanning his hide. Can you tell me why he went away? He had to do something for his gramps. Well, he wrote that in his note, honey, but what? I can't tell you. Listen here, young man. Hurting me won't help, Mom. I can't snitch on him. Oh, uh, uh, Bertie, wait a minute. <laughs> Sylvester, if I promised you that Jeff wouldn't be punished, would you tell me then? You won't do nothing to him? Absolutely nothing. I promise. Well? He went to see Tony at Uncle Fred's place. Well, where's that? Matt's brother's farm at Creston. Well, why did he go there? Well, he went there to... to sell Lassie. What? On account of Gramps needed money for an operation. Can we call them? No phone. Fred don't hold with them. Oh, then I better drive up there. It's a mile east of Creston, just before you get to the big grain elevator. Big white house with a red barn. Oh. You can't miss it. Thanks, Bertie. You don't mind if I run on? Heavens, no. Go ahead. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of this young man. Someone? Yes, sir. Tony Brockway. Mm, I'm his dad. Let me see. Uh, oh, last time I saw him, he was down there back of the barn. Imagine he's still there. Thank you. See, it's a nice looking dog you got there. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Hey, what are you doing here? You said if I changed my mind about selling Lassie, I should let you know. You still want to buy her? Why'd you change your mind all of a sudden? I got a reason. How much you want for her? Five hundred dollars. You nuts! Well, she's the best trick dog in the whole world. Will she do tricks for me? Let's see. Come here, Lassie. Now, Lassie, I want you to do what Tony says. Sit. Speak. <coughs> Lie down. Gee, she's wonderful. Let's go out and talk to my dad. Come on, Lassie. Five hundred dollars for a dog? It's utterly ridiculous. But, Dad, you gotta buy her for me. She's the best trick dog in the whole world. She may be, but you can buy a pedigree dog, a champion for that kind of money. Well, if you were talking about seventy-five or a hundred dollars, why... But that's not enough. Enough for what? For what I need it for. Oh, look, son, you can't very well expect me to pay that ridiculous amount for a dog just because you need the money. Dad, you promised! Now, stop pulling at me, son. I've told you that a hundred times. I'll give you a hundred dollars for the dog. That's my best offer. Take it. That's a lot of money. How much is an operation? What was that? How much does it cost to get an operation? 
Well, it depends on what kind of an operation. Why? Can you get an operation for a hundred dollars? Oh, I suppose you could. Only I don't understand what right. that has... All right. I'll sell Lassie for a hundred dollars. Bill. Lassie, you're mine now! One thing before I give you the check, I'll have to have your mother's written permission for you to sell your dog. But she's my dog. I know that, son, but you're still a minor. Just have your mother write a note. I can't. Why not? I just can't. You gotta give it to me. Please, Mr. Brockway, please. Oh, now hold on, son. There's nothing to cry about. You don't understand. I need the money for my grants, and I need it now. Jeff, it's all right, there. Gramps doesn't have to have the operation. Mr. Brockway? Yes? I'm Ellen Miller, Jeff's mother. Jeff thought that... But I... Well, I'm just terribly sorry if, if it caused you any trouble. Mrs. Miller, you have nothing to be sorry about. In fact, you got a lot to be proud of. wouldn't take it. Not even so you could keep Lassie? If Gramps had to do something for me, he wouldn't go around looking for ways to get out of it. Yeah, you're right. Would you hand me a paper bag? Sure. I hate to think of you selling Lassie. Well, I guess this is everything. So my mom would have conniptions and my pop would skin me alive. That's all right. I'll cut across the back way. It's getting kind of later. I walk you away. Yeah. Guess I'd better be going. So long. Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Hi, Gramps. Hi, boy. That confounded pill peddler left yet? He's in there talking to Mom. Got me dead and buried, hasn't he? Already nailed down the lid. 
No, Gramps. You'll be all right. After you get the x-rays. What x-rays? You've got to go to the hospital today to get them. Well, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna get me in no hospital. That's what you think. I know what you're up to. Get me in the hospital for x-rays. And the next thing I know, someone's carving their initials on the backbone. Jeff, get Gramps' shoes and help him on with them. Nobody's helped me in years. And they ain't gonna start now. Get them, dear. I ain't going, Ellen. Now, will you stop acting like an infant? They'll get me in there, then they'll tell you I need an operation. Possibly. One of them specialists. Months in the hospital. Hundreds of dollars. Where are we going to get the money? Oh, we'll worry about that part of it when we come to it. Well, I'm worrying about it now. I ain't going in debt for no operation. Jeff, yeah. will you hurry up with those shoes? Now, in the first place, we have the money in the bank. In the second place, we have the insurance. And in the third place, if you need an operation, we'd get the money even if we didn't have it. And finally, you big baby, you're just making excuses. I'm not. Dad, now be reasonable. It may not be serious at all, but we have to have the x-rays to find out. Here you are, Gramps. I'll help you on. I'll help myself. Jeff, I may be overnight at Capital City. Can you stay at Porky's? Guess so. He's out back with his cousin Tony. I'll ask him. Fine. I'll get changed. You're setting a fine example for Jeff. I don't care. Gee, she's wonderful. Porky, can I stay over at your house tonight? Sure. My mom's got to take Gramps to Capital City. To the hospital. Hospital? Gee. Hey, you want to sell Lassie? My dad promised to buy me a dog. How about it? Are you crazy? Jeff wouldn't sell Lassie for a trillion dollars. You want to come over now? We got to get home on account of he's driving to Creston. I'll wait till Mom and Gramps leave. Okay, I'll be back in a little while. If you change your mind, let me know. I didn't get a chance to call Mrs. Brockway. Are you sure it's all right for you to stay over? Sure. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. What do you mean, you? We'll be back. <laughs> Easy. Be a good boy, sweetheart. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, darling. Hi, Mrs. Miller. No, hi, Porky. Jeff, get a sleepover? Sure thing. Sure thing. Boys, how many times have I told you not to get close to the car? Tony's gone is am I glad? What a drip. Yeah. Yes. It's Jeff Miller. Jeff Miller, what in heaven's name are you doing so far from home at this hour of the night? Jeff! Jeff! Jeff Miller! Come back! Sam, go get him. Jeff! Jeff! Where are you? Jeff, come in. Jeff! Sam, don't just stand there. Go I can't see him. <sighs> Too fast for me. Well, we can't just let him run off like that. Well, I'll never find him in the dark. Well, hurry, Sam. I've got to call Ellen as soon as we get home. Now, hurry. Oh, I'm hurrying. Too close. We better stay off the road. Oh, Liz, I don't know how to get cross country at night. Come on. I 
could use some sleep. I bet you could, too. We'll start out again in the morning. What's eating you? Gramps. He needs an operation. Gee, people can die from operations. He can't have it, because we don't have enough money. He can die from not having an operation. I know. How much does an operation cost? I heard Gramps say hundreds of dollars. And all I got's 80 cents. I had a dollar, but I spent it at the carnival. Gotta do something to help them, but I don't know why. Boy, Lassie's smart. She knows you got troubles. Does your cousin Tony really want to buy Lassie? Does he? Jeff, you can't. You can't sell Lassie. Gramps would do anything for me. You said yourself he could die if he doesn't get an operation. Yeah, I know, but I've been trying to figure out what I could sell. All my junk's not worth much. The only thing I got's Lassie. You think I like the idea? You think I want to sell her? <laughs> Mom won't be worried if she gets home before I do. It's 20 miles to Crescent. Oh, maybe I'll get a hitch. My uncle's farm is the first one before you get to the big grain elevator. And the house is white and the barn is red. They got the same name as us, Brockway. Okay. You sure you don't want my pup to drive you to Crescent? You sure? No, because we'd have to tell a 